YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101, and today we are actually unboxing this Harbor Freight uh, solar kit here. Um, we're going to start pulling everything out of the box. Stay tuned. Uh, this is the solar kit that we uh, pulled out of the box. I didn't want to show that. Uh, let's try to cut down. I don't want this video to be long, but um, they have them packaged real nice, and there are actually four individuals of these. And if you actually look here with this light turning blue, that means this is already kind of generating power. So once we get everything hooked up and everything connected, this is good. But when that light is blue, that means it's actually starting to uh, get power to it. But it has this nice bubble wrap, has the connector cord. It's got what it is on the back, 18 volt, 25 watts. And this is a hundred Turn this towards the camera. So 18 volt, 25 watt solar panel. So that's why you get four of them. That equals a hundred watts. So, and the nice thing is it has this sand. Then what we're gonna do is we actually have a few more unboxed already, but you're gonna kind of see them right now. We have three of them we just got one more to go but what we're going to do is, is we're going to pause it right here unbox the next one kind of get them connected and show you uh next steps so this is actually where you have all your hardware at so this are the brackets that we will be using to mount all the solar kits together so when you mount it to whatever but we're going to be using the fence this is what you're going to use for connecting them together attachment this these are our light bulbs that we get. They're LEDs. And we have the, uh, I think it's the inverter kit. I have, believe is what it's called. Oh, I'm sorry, it's the controller. It's the controller kit. So, um, but yeah, this is, this is the standard kit that what you get. So um, this is what you do to kind of piggyback everything together for your solar kit. So. We're going to kind of pause it right now and get everything uh, together for us now. All right, guys. Um, as you see, we are in the sunlight right now. We have the blue light, so you can see that these are charging. Uh, we actually took the brackets out because we're actually going to end up screwing this straight into our uh, privacy fence. But the one thing we have to worry about and something I found out is that if you tighten too tight, you will damage that if you can see that. So... So if you tighten too tight, you'll kind of break them away. So these are kind of very fragile, so you're going to want to be careful unboxing. So when you actually follow the trace here into the garage, you know, we're, we're pulling wattage. We're on the normal there. So, but as like before, uh, we are getting light that's plugged in into here, but you can also plug straight into here. But right now, how we're going to have this set up for our flower or our garden with the flowers, we're not going to use the light. But when we come down... We have the solar a charger regulator right here. So yellow means it's charging, green means high voltage, and red means low voltage. So what we ended up having to do, because this is a Harbor Freight battery, um, this actually connector we actually got from the, it's a, a inverter box for, and I'm sorry, it's not an inverter box. It is, this is the 100 watt universal solar connector. And it actually came with this extra connector which you actually need unless you actually have cables lying around now this is to use if you want to hook up uh, individual watts as you can see on the back so you can do up to 400 watts i have 100 watts but use the cable that came with this to connect to the battery that i just uh, screwed in the, you know, and as it tr runs into the solar charger regular then there's another spot for your solar panels which is running out to the van so um now what we're going to be you know we're just doing some testing and modifying you know how we're going to do this before we even start taking and installing it into the fence now we're going to be working on our outdoor box which i've already done a video about this uh kind of see how we're going to want to mount this up 
in everything. So we're kind of doing beta testing. Okay, um, right now, just to kind of show you some of the modifications, but we're gonna use our solar light right here to kind of show you a little bit what we did. Um, my wife had the great idea of using zip ties, of screwing little holes with a drill and zip tying it. So we're kind of keeping the structure so it's not anything's gonna get wet. So we did that on all four sides. So then as you can see, when we come down, we have the solar charger regulator, but when we turn the light off, you can see the yellow light is on. But what we ended up doing was I grabbed some of my Velcro up top here that I've talked about, try to keep everything clean, everything we have. And right now, everything is now hooked up that we're running, charging this battery. And we've actually been charging this battery for about almost an hour, pulling 13.3 volts. All right, well, we're doing some work on the inside of the box. And as you can see, we have the pre-drilled holes. because We have to vent this because of having the battery and talking with uh, people who have worked with some solar kits. So definitely say you want to have some venting type. So I got some holes there. As you can see, I have these little mesh. I'm not going to get into too much about these, how, they, how you to install them and anything. That is going to be a future video. But all I got to say is, be on the lookout for that video because this is a fantastic product. My wife is like super excited that I found this. I'm not even gonna tell you where I found it because I want you guys to be prepared. And this is kind of a little Easter egg in this uh, solar kit. All right guys, as you can see, we have the solar kit finally attached to the fence. So we just took uh, deck screw boards, as you can see here, we went all the way across the top and to the bottom. But because these aren't long enough with this, and the way the fence was built, we actually ended up buying a piece of treated two by four. As you can see here on the inside, we have a little L-shaped bracket and it's on both ends, screwed into the fence post to the two by four, which will then give us total security of these. So these aren't gonna go anywhere in a windstorm. When we continue to come down with the panels, with starting to run the cable, I want to try to keep the cable management clean and try to make it to where it's not all over the place. So I ended up buying these easy cable clips and we ended up getting these at Home Depot. These were a few bucks, but just trying to keep all this cable management as clean as possible as we could. Then when we kind of moved down, we ended up getting with some zip ties to try to help out. And the same thing, we kind of did the same thing here. Now, kind of in the back, you're gonna see it, it's a little crumbled up. Crumbled up. That is because of when we go back to the panels here, we're stretching the longest cable, so we have some access cable there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go around the, our fire, our wood pile here. So it's kind of hiding it, so that's a good thing. Now, as you can see, it's coming down at the bottom of the gate. Now, what we're gonna be doing, and so people wanna know, we put electrical tape around the connectors there so it won't hurt anything if it rains. What we are gonna be doing is we're actually gonna be going to Home Depot or Lowe's to buy a rubber piece of the mulch that usually you can put around trees and we're gonna cover this cable up. So if I come across this with a lawnmower or traffic, I'm not gonna worry about damaging this cable. Then we can continue to come down. We did the same thing using the easy cable clips. Just to try to keep it, you know, the cable management nice and neat and we kind of continue. Then what we do, we run it up. Now we're running it behind the grill. Now some people are gonna probably be worrying about that. Don't be, because I've talked to some people who are electricians who do with solar and that. And when I actually use the grill, I actually move the grill actually over to the right. But then what we do is when we come from behind, the main cable, we have some excess cable, which I left slack just in case I need to tweak anything. And I just drilled a, a, a hole into the back. So when we open this up, you can now see we are officially charging everything here. We have the volts up there going to the light. So if you have, if I ever got to come out here, the light bulb is working. And um, in a future video too, as you can see a lot more better in the daylight here are these mesh wire nets. We're gonna be doing a future video on that because these are just the coolest things that we kind of got to see and what you're gonna be able to do. But pretty much to kind of give a little load of what's going on is this right here is going into the two uh, alligator clips. So the positive and the negative, and then we have this 
is going straight from the solar panels into this. This is going to help regulate everything so we don't overload the battery and not uh, checking for high voltage and make sure everything else is good to go. Now, when we come back over here, we have this on a normal uh, power surge right now, so we're kind of going off that. So we have the arrow so we can use the light, and that's what we want. And the one thing is, too, we do have these two USB cables that if we have to come out in a grid down situation to charge anything, we're right here. Or if we're at a family function, someone needs to charge something and they have their cable, they can plug right in. So uh, that's going to be it for the solar kit and how I'm doing this setup for my kind of off the off the grid of my garden. So what we're going to be doing now is in, the, um, in a future video, probably uh, in, a, in a week or two, after we do a little more tweaking in that, we're actually going to show you the entire process of hooking up the power, or the power inverter to then show how to connect that that running the cable for the transfer pump to use to then water the plant. So that's going to be in a video coming down the road, probably in a few weeks. But the main thing, we are now officially pretty much ready to go charging the battery. Um, we're probably going to do a little bit, a few tests just to make sure everything's working with the uh, power inverter, which it should from the professionals I've talked to that who are in the, the electrical field, other uh, electricians and people who've done some solar stuff. So that is it. If you guys have any comments or questions, write them down below. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We will catch you guys down the road.